So moving along to social media here, you have a popular Instagram account. All right, so to you, what makes a picture, quote unquote, Insta-worthy? I mean, it starts with so many levels. I mean, first you gotta have the right scenery. Uh, mm. You just can't be taking a picture like right here. No. Like, yeah. That's not gonna get you no likes. Like, usually I try to find a place where if I'm outside, I need the sun to beam on me. Like, you know, what I mean, at a right angle. Mm. Um, yeah. And for all people, you know, you gotta take the picture like this because you gotta get the shoes. Uh, my outfit is like. It's key. Like, yeah. yeah, you gotta be head to toe. I don't want you to be missing out on the shoes that no. you gotta have that. And uh Yeah. It's, I mean sometimes if it's windy outside I like to catch the wind because it's, it shows my shirt it blows sometimes, so mm -hmm. it looks even better. But yeah, I mean it's a lot of things. I mean some people got like catchy captions, you know, yeah. I try some of that, but I'd like to be real. It's all about the picture. I mean right. yeah, exactly. I mean it's like uh sometimes the title of the movie isn't as important as the movie itself. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, all right. So now we have a few more social media questions here. You've had, you have a few tweets of yours that we're going to show in a, seg a segment we call Explain Yourself. So we're going to read you uh, your tweet and you'll have to explain the meaning. All right. So okay. you ready? All right. So first one here. Don't play with the hustle. Either you eat or you starve. No, I mean, it's a life lesson. I mean, uh, you, know, you just don't want to watch everybody else be successful. You should try to go out there and get it yourself, too. So, like... Don't play with the hustle. Don't just wake up every day and just not do nothing. You got to wake up and, you know what I mean, try to make yourself better as a person. So. All right, here's another one. I got a different look in my eyes with two exclamation marks. Oh, man. At the end, that should be that. I must have came out a great workout. Coach White, um, Sham got. I mean, it's just one of those things when you working hard and you you just so locked in and, like, you, you know what you want to do in life. So right now I got a different look in my eyes, like, I might, off the court, I might be friendly and, you know, goofy and stuff, but once I hit the court, I got to be locked in. Yeah. No, I hear you. Yeah. Uh, make sure you eat, but never get too greedy. That's how you get caught up with oh a few my. dots at the end. Whew, I'm, yeah. I'm under, sure. I don't know how that got under 140, too. That's, that's important. Man, I got, that's, that's different meanings right there. That's a, <laughs> that's a double meaning. Yeah. Because if you think about it, all right, when you're eating with your family, mm -hmm. make sure you eat. But don't be greedy because you want everybody in your family to also eat. Oh, uh, okay. But in life, you got to make sure that you're successful. But don't be too greedy because, you know what I mean, then you're, then you're just, like, being selfish. You're not yeah. worried about everybody else in your family. So, I mean, that's the double meaning, people. Save some of the mashed potatoes for me, you know right, what I mean? Right, exactly. yeah. I'm at the end of the table. Don't forget me at the kids' that's table. Exactly. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I moved up to the adult table last year. Uh all right, so this one's funny. Uh, these fried Oreos, though, sheesh, sheesh. All right, but yeah, yeah. I mean that one's pretty almost self-explanatory. Yeah, um, but is that a good sheesh or a bad sheesh? That's a great sheesh. Mm. Um, New London, Connecticut, uh, my city, best place to live in. Uh, go to Hot Rods; they mm. got the best fried Oreos in America. Um, went in there, got me a little batch. <laughs> um, somebody must have been happy around that. Uh, <laughs> the fryer in there? <laughs> that cooking pan, because woo! <laughs> every, every bite was, uh, was definitely go glorious. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, fried Oreos to me. I mean, I love things that are fried. I love Oreos. I right. can, can only imagine. Yeah, 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 uh, definitely. Um, Do you dunk those in milk, though? Or you just yeah. have them straight up? Nah, sometimes I dunk them in milk. It depends on my type of mood. Like, if I'm really happy, I'm going to dunk them in milk. Yeah, but, you got to. You know what I mean? If I got, like, something to do, I'm going to just... <laughs> just just, them yeah, down. just get them out of the way. All right, and here we go. Lastly, uh, what is your favorite part of playing at the Dunkin' Donuts Center? Uh, that's easy, I mean, the fans that we have, uh, they're unbelievable. Um, they support us every game. Uh, mm -hmm. They come out, with, have a lot of energy. And uh, I mean, the scenery is good too. I mean, the way it's set up, uh, it's like almost a bowl. It's like, you know what I mean? When you're looking around, everybody's around you. Like mm -hmm. the, like uh, Villanova, Villanova is kind of weird. Like they have people like close to the court and then they have people like up here, up yeah. there. But like ours is just like a bowl. So you feel like you're almost like in a football stadium. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's just good for that. Yeah, it's a great atmosphere. And if you want to be part of that atmosphere, season tickets are still available right now on Friars.com. Chris Dunn, thank you so much for joining me thank today. You. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. Have a great day.